Your generosity of our hosts and the beauty of your country is always very overwhelming to me and for me to be able to bring teachers here to meet you and interact with you, I think it's a very, very special and unique occasion. So I want to start a little bit by setting the stage for our talk today. Um, I'm going to give a little overview and talk about why it's important to teach students about energy, which I think you all know. So why and then how? How do we think it's effective to teach students about energy? Why, how, and then what? What do we mean when we say sustainable energy? Okay, and then we will have a little bit of an introduction of the team, and then we'll get started with the fun. Okay, so why do we need to teach students about energy? I think these figures speak for themselves. Our energy consumption is increasing rapidly and continuously. And most of that projected increase is in the non-OECD countries, Taiwan of which is one. And, and that's a good thing because we need to and we need to encourage social equity throughout the globe and so this is a necessary thing the problem is if you look on the right every one of our energy resources is projected to increase in consumption except for coal yeah, so we continue to use fossil fuels. So, um, and the link between energy consumption and climate change is undeniable. So you can see here. So you can see here the increase in CO2 emissions from fossil fuel combustion. And on the right, I know you can't read these words, but the main thing is that almost three quarters of our CO2 emissions is from energy activity. Right. So it's very important that we address our energy consumption as well as the way we produce our energy. So this quote, um, I love this. This is a very old quote. And maybe we can have our interpreter read this. Would that work? In Chinese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the, the idea is we need to become energy literate if we want to make a change. 
，那基本上就是我们要认识能源，我们要了解能源，我们才能够来面对这个问题。Okay. Um, so, what do we mean when we say literacy? Literacy? Uh, so literacy uh, it's not just having knowledge. It's also being willing and able to use that knowledge in a meaningful and constructive way. Why? Well, this graph, which is also a little outdated, but it's still very, very relevant. This shows that our um, these are the energy consumption of various appliances. And essentially, we tend to overestimate we meaning people in general. Uh, we overestimate our small energy consuming appliances like light bulbs, um, laptops. We think, oh, turn the lights off, we all will be safe. That's, that's the best thing we can do. Right. But, <laughs> but we underestimate our big energy consumption. And these misconceptions make it very difficult for us to effectively save energy. So, how can education help? Well, the goal of education is to improve literacy. Science education, improve science literacy, energy education should improve energy literacy. And we know that literacy includes not just knowledge, but also affect. That's our 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 feelings, our our hearts, our attitudes, and our behaviors. So we as educators often think that this is what happens in the classroom. We think that we feed our students knowledge. That changes their attitude. Gives them self-efficacy. And ultimately that changes the way they behave. This is what we think. We teach But that's not what happens. <laughs> Research has shown, and these numbers are from, from a study I did a long time ago with energy education. But this has been shown by many people besides me. So the weakest connection here is between knowledge and attitudes and behaviors. This this does not work. Instead, we really need our education to go directly to impact students' attitudes and behaviors. So, how do we do that? So now we talk about how. Um, we propose that we can change this paradigm with project-based education. So, project-based education has students work on 
creating a project or solving a problem, and they learn the content as they apply it towards their end goal. So it's very engaging, they're busy. It creates interdisciplinary understanding. And it demonstrates why their learning is important. We call these practices evidence-based learning practices. What that means is there has been research to prove that they are effective. So we have found in our studies of energy education that project-based learning does impact students' affect, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors. And they still are learning the content knowledge. More recently, in Taiwan, a group looked at a skills based senior high school. Yeah. And they found that um, using these questions that are based on relevant situations where students apply their knowledge, so it's very similar to project-based learning. They learned more effectively. And they learned skills and attitudes better. So, to summarize the why and the how, we know that liter literacy does not just include knowledge, we need to include the attitudes and the behaviors. And we know that project-based, inquiry-based, competence-oriented teaching effectively uh, reaches that students. So the title of our small workshop, I know that you have a, there's an official title, but we have chosen to call this Education for a Sustainable Energy Future. I want to take a minute to just talk about what that means. I think most of us are familiar with sustainability. I won't go on about this, but it basically means you develop systems in a way that solve today's needs without compromising the needs of the future. And we have these three, we call them uh, pillars or legs of sustainability. There, we need to be careful of economics. Promote, promote social justice. And and be mindful of the environment. The thing is, this really implies what we know as weak sustainability. Right. I'm very grateful for the help. Thank you very much. Um, so, what this means is we can decide to focus on one of these aspects and maybe, you know, um, maybe promote environmental stewardship at the cost of economics. 
环境的呃，就是关注环境的方法来来解决经济的问题。Rebalance， 就是说用这个方法来平衡。Strong sustainability has a hard bottom line。那这个非常强的永续的话，它的这个呃底线是非常坚坚固的。We don't compensate。就基本上是不会呃，我们不会妥协。It's just a philosophy. Ah, this is, this is, this is, this is the philosophy. Um. So when we think about developing a sustainable energy system, this is one idea, and this is the mainstream idea. We think we just need to keep developing renewable energy resources to satisfy our growing demand. The 主流的想法就是我们要找到一个啊这个永续的方法来让我们这个呃永永续的能源可以。满足我们现在以及未来对能源的需求。This is this is weak sustainability. 这是弱弱弱的永续，永永续性。Another philosophy which is strong sustainability says. 另外一个呃主流的想法，有关于这个强势的永续。We also need to think about how much energy we use and consider if we really need to use that much electricity energy. 所以我们呃要知道，就是说我们要了解说我们现在用用了多少的能源，然后是怎么样来减少我们对能源的需求。So they both are sustainable philosophies. 所以这两个都是主流的对永续的想法。They're both good. 他们两个都很好。They're just different. 他们只是不不一样而已。Um, I want to support strong sustainability with this evidence. 那我要用这个证据呢，来表示我对强势的永续这个说法。This graph shows the Human Development Index (HDI). 这个这个是啊 ，Human Development Index 是这个人类人类发展发展的指数。It's just a measure of overall well-being. 就是说啊，人类呃。Overall well-being. This, uh, is, is, human, 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 uh, the importance of this graph is at very low levels of energy consumption, you can very much improve human well-being with an increase in energy consumption. But once you reach a certain point of energy consumption, you don't really improve well-being with more energy consumption. 也就是说，当你到达一个点的时候呢，你的幸福程度不会再增加了。And I don't know where Taiwan is on this figure. 我我不我不知道台湾这个点在哪里。Maybe that's homework for you all. 啊，也许这是大家的今天要回去的啊功课。I know that the United States is out here. 那美国的话是在这里。This supports strong sustainability. We do not need to use that much energy. Okay, so how do we create a sustainable energy future? We need to think about using renewable energy resources. We need to improve our energy efficiency. And we need to conserve energy. So weak sustainability, which is the mainstream, most people think about this, just considers energy production. 基本上大家都只是在想说怎么样来控制能源的制造。Strong sustainability includes everything. 那强势的永续能源是包括所有的这些。
So in this workshop, we are going to take a strong sustainability approach. Today we are going to talk about energy production. Tomorrow we are going to talk about energy consumption. And so at this point, before I turn this over to the fun part of the day, we have just very brief introductions of our team so that you know who we are. Just like literacy is not just knowledge, we are whole people. So I I chose to share some pictures. These are my students. They are um they just did an activity where they had to design something and then present it to their team. So this is my university. This is my family. I have three sons. Very tall. <laughs> and this is where we live. It's very different from here. So this is a view outside my window. Yeah, lots of snow. And then this is me before work. Doing what I love. Skiing. In the woods at my university. So thank you. And now I think Lisa is next. Good morning, everyone. So I'm... My name is Lisa, and I am a high school teacher. Well, I'm Lisa. I'm a high school I teach chemistry, forensic science. Like CSI, NCIS, that kind of stuff. So, uh, fingerprinting, blood spatter. Um, and I also teach bioethics. How everyone should be acting um, in their jobs. Sorry, sorry. How everyone should be acting in their jobs. Ethically and morally. Um, I originally had a degree in medical laboratory technology. So I worked at a hospital and I uh, performed duties like immunohematology, hematology, chemistry. So I Diagnosing diseases. Um, but I found that I was always the teacher. <laughs> so uh, the doctors would come in and they would ask me questions. So I went back to school and got a teaching degree. Yeah. Um, so I have a, an undergraduate in education, biology and chemistry, and a master's in education. And I'm currently working on a PhD in education. Uh, with curriculum and instruction. So prior to teaching, I worked in a hospital laboratory, and I've been teaching for the past 22 years. 
他已经教书教了二十二年，在教书之前呢，他在这个医院的实验室里面工作。Um, I live in New York State as well, um, and I'm part, of, I'm part of the master teacher program. Like a teaching leader. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born and raised in Canada. Um, and I immigrated to the United States. To work in a hospital laboratory. I met and married my husband. Who is also a teacher. Um, so this is my family. I have uh, two biological sons. <laughs> One biological daughter. And we adopted a son. Uh, so when he was a senior in high school, 他, uh, 他, 就是在念高中第三年的时候, uh, 所以第三年是新, he, um, his parents passed away. 他的爸爸, 妈妈, uh, so we took him into our family. Um, so last year, my oldest son, was married. Uh, so our family is growing. Um, we also have a dog. Uh, and a pet. He is a rescue dog. Uh, 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 so if you have any questions for me, I'm here at the workshop today. Uh, uh, Oh, uh, 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 Treated to special foods. Oh, tofu. So I I have been teaching for 30 years. And I uh, went to school for a certification in biology. And also Earth Science. Also math. Yeah. And also teaching the little ones. So I can teach from the little Nursery school students all the way to the senior Yes, in the 30 years that I have been teaching, the school has asked me to teach many subjects. But because, because I can. So I also am in the New York State Master Teacher Program. So in this program, we receive extra special training. And then we can help other teachers 
learn to use better teaching techniques. So we can teach other teachers how to use these abilities to do better teaching. And I have some similar um, certifications. Uh, Andrea and I actually went to school at the same time. We met in high school. And, yep, and I followed her later to college. <laughs> So some similar, not as many courses as Andrea. Well, may have taught them a lot. Like Andrea taught them a lot of the material. And I did teach for 21 years. I taught, taught, taught for 20 years. And now I, um, I do adult trainings, adult classes. I mostly teach adults. And we work on uh, group communication and also、um, trying to make people better leaders. 啊，基本上就是教大家做团队的沟通，以及如何成为更好的领导人。啊、uh, ，And that's been an interesting transition, and、um, I look forward to working with you today. 那这是我的经历，同时我非常期待今天跟大家的互动。This is our family. 这是我的家人。<笑> This is our son Vincent. This is my son. He looks the same as Carmine. <laughs> he is in the United States Air Force. He is in the United States Air Force. He works as an air traffic controller. He is in the United States Air Force. He works as an air traffic controller. He is in the United States Air Force. He is in the United States Air Force. He is in the United States Air Force. He is in the United Maria is studying to become a teacher. Yeah, for special education students who struggle to learn. I also have a twin sister. No, the same, exactly identical. Oh, me. <laughs> so I have a twin sister. Okay, twelve minutes. She's twelve minutes. One of the activities that we participate in together is hiking mountains. That we are together to hike mountains. In New York State, it is a personal challenge to hike the forty-six mountains that are above four thousand feet. 那在纽约州，他们要有一个一个挑战，就是要爬四十六座山。啊啊，我我我是爱走。啊，还。四四四四千尺的高山，他们要爬四十六座四千尺以上的高山。Yeah, yeah. So we accomplish this together. 啊，我们呃，我跟我妹妹完成了这个挑战。Yeah. So Carmine and I、uh, are happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our classrooms. That I and my friend are very happy to be here to help you see the techniques we used in our And we have used project-based education for many, many years. Then we use project-based education for many, many years. A new step that I've added to the project-based education is to make sure that it is also place-based, which means that the focus is on a problem immediate to where we live. That. Another, we have uh, have a new step, which is we, besides project-based education, we also use project-based education. 也就是说，我们研究的东西是在我们居居住环境的这个区域内。I find that the students are much more、um, passionate about solving a problem 
when they know it's for their own community. So they're much more interested in being involved in the project. Yeah, and we actually go into the community and truly do add the solution to the environment. Yes. Okay. So as we focus on energy literacy, I will focus our project on this place. It will be place based. 那基本上除了我們要做專案教育之外,同時我們也會根據我們現在在的所在來進行這個教學 As we focus today on having you dive deeper into sustainable energy 那我們今天讓大家就是能夠更深入的來專研有關於永續能源的問題 we will have you focus on what Taiwan has to offer for sustainable resources. You have everything you need right here in this country. Let me ask you, is it helpful for you to translate these? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? Uh, so when we say that, okay, uh, person went below in Taiwan, so, uh, Taiwan you have a tree? Taiwan you have a tree? 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 Taiwan have a tree? You 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 have a tree? Yes to everything. This is the answer. You have maps which illustrate where wind power would be perfect. You have maps to show where it would be perfect to install solar panels. You have maps which show the potential for installing runoff of the river turbines. 那這個這個這個圖顯示說台灣有哪些河流可以做這個水利發電 And you have places already identified which would be perfect for tidal power plants 那這這個圖顯示說我們可以用哪裡可以用潮汐來發電 Um you want to mention this bit about Manesto Manesto plants Taiwan as their first ocean current power producer 這個他們有一個這個專案是說台灣現在已經有這個第一個用潮汐來發電的這個計劃。OK。Validating。And okay. <笑> you also have plans for many geothermal power plants to be installed in Taiwan. 同時台灣已經有在計劃 there is a beautiful interactive map in your um, in this slideshow. This is a clickable link. Do you want to come in? We can just show quickly. As you do your research today, this may be a helpful link for you. This map is interactive and it can show you where you have fossil fuel power plants. We also have links to where you have renewable energy sources. This may be useful to you today as you do your research. OK, 
है so, how is our time? Is it time for the tea break? Or not yet? To go to the tea break or keep going? Tea break right now? Okay. So, after the tea break, this is like a cliffhanger. Ah, <laughs> yeah, suspenseful. Yeah. After the tea break, we will begin Taiwan's energy shift by preparing the next generation of Taiwanese students for careers in all of these sustainable energy sources. Okay, so we will enjoy our tea and then we will come back and we will get ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Go through our, our our lesson and things like that. We just want to thank the graduate students that are here. Uh, they've been so helpful um, from when we met them yesterday all the way through today. And this was one example of of their um, their thinking on the go. And as teachers, a lot of times, and you know, things change, or we have to change, maybe because some students are missing. So we need to change our way of thinking. For example, students are not coming, or students are not coming. 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 Students are yeah, and thank you for being so flexible as well. For change. So um, before the break, um, and the tea, by the way, the cold tea. Uh, but before the break, Andrea was describing you know, all the places around Taiwan that could be perfect for some type of sustainable energy. So, um, as we go through, this uh, activity is uh, a research project at the end uh, in which the students will present. And today, you will be the students. And you will work through the activity um, as the students. And we think that this will be helpful for you to see um, what your students would have to accomplish. And maybe find ways that you have to adjust or fix or make changes. Like we just had to make a change. Okay, okay. so some background information. Okay. So, um, a description of the of the project. Usually, uh, this is a multi-day activity. Uh, it includes research and the presentation of sustainable energy sources for career training. <laughs> the lesson will take several days. The lesson will take several days to complete. Um, it provides an interdisciplinary approach. And your students can complete it individually or in a group. 
。那这个呃这些专案呢，我们可能呃学员们可以可以一个一个就个人的方式来来做这个专案，或者是以小组的方式来做这个专案。In, during the uh, presentation, the purpose is to have students explore one of these types of sustainable energy. Communicate the pros and cons uh, of its application to society. And then the students will communicate how and where to pursue the careers in their sustainable energy source. Okay. And more specifically, the students will research one type of sustainable energy. Research how and where to pursue career training in their sustainable energy source. They will develop a slideshow presentation to communicate information regarding the energy source and the career training. And finally, reflect on the importance of the sustainable energy sources on the future of the Earth. And a brief overview, you'll notice you're in groups of four. We will divide because today um, we don't have a lot of time to do this. We don't have two days. We're going to divide the uh, presentation into four. You will research your slide, your specific slides. And then combine and share it in your group. You're going to copy the information from each other to make one complete presentation. And then practice in your group so that you can then go to a different group to present the topic. 互相练习之后呢，你们就可以到另外一个小组来做这个报告。OK。OK。to help guide us, we have um, a student template. Uh, uh, in the Google, in the Google Classroom. Say, uh, Google Classroom, Google Classroom. So if you want to look in your Google Classroom, so if you want to look in your Google Classroom, under classwork, say, uh, yeah. Students, students, yeah. Okay. 